what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel my name is savannah and today we are back in tolly zoo it's been a while i'm so sorry it's been a couple weeks but as you can see i have made some progress on our african elephant habitat in the last two weeks i did a little bit of building off camera uh to be honest i've had a rough couple weeks uh, with life and work and so I just kind of sat down and, and built off camera a little bit uh, because it's really relaxing for me. So we have this little kind of implied area here. Now I will warn you, pay no attention to the Indian elephant side of the habitat because I uh, adjusted this building and then I didn't come over here and fix it for this side. So we're just going to ignore that for now. But this side looks great, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, talk about uh, really only building for the screenshot. I kind of only focused on this side um, while I was building, but we'll get to that. We will. Uh, today there will be a time lapse, so we're going to finish up some of this uh, as well as that. And then also I ended up having to extend this habitat way out over here because it was way too small. If we take a look at our elephants here, their space is in the green now. They need a little bit more shelter, but their space is in the green, so I'm happy with that. Um, but I had to extend that way out there and just kind of made this like a, a dipped part of the habitat because we'll have kind of a boardwalk section over here for people to look at them uh, through. Figuring we'd keep the path coming around here and then loop it back here because our uh, Indian rhinos and our white rhinos are gonna go somewhere over here and, uh, and that's the plan. So these guys are fairly happy. Let me just double check. Uh, they're hungry. Oh, did I not put down? I think I put down a whole bunch of uh, enrichment stuff, but I don't think I actually put down um, any feeders, which shouldn't be a problem because the keeper should still come throw food for them. There's food in there, uh, but we'll put one just in case or just because rather. Where do I want it? Maybe we'll put it over here because there's not much over here yet. So we'll kind of throw this right over there looks good i hate isn't there a setting that you can you can change so that it doesn't change the terrain when you put it down i feel like somebody mentioned that to me one time and then i've i've completely forgotten since then but anyway my point being is that these elephants are very happy um and one of them wasn't one of them don't i have three of them where are they one two maybe not i thought i thought she was pregnant uh okay maybe not maybe i'm just crazy bummer i thought she was pregnant and we were gonna have a baby elephant soon well hopefully she'll become pregnant and we'll have a baby elephant soon uh we need to change these education signs to say african elephant that would be very helpful so that people start learning about them and let's see what we got going on over here animals hungry low wealth oh no one of our dwarf caimans passed away right under the sprinkler so sad Okay, get that taken care of. Why are you so incredibly hungry? Uh, oh my gosh, look at all the holes all over the habitat. My goodness. Um, let's go ahead and... I hate when I... I love hiding the doors in things, but then I don't like that I can't like select the habitat. There we go. Perfect. Um, no, that's not actually what I wanted. I wanted the, the habitat and there we go. Um, go ahead and call... Keeper is assigned. Let's see, we have uh, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry, very hungry. Why are we all very hungry? Food quality is three, that's great. Please come over, please urgently assign a keeper. Um, they do have a food tray, they do. So the keeper just hasn't come over in a while. Is this one, is the meerkat one part of another work zone? Let me see, so meerkat zone, uh, one habitat, one building, one staff room. Okay, so it's, it is just a work zone in and of itself. Does it not have a keeper assigned? Watch, that might be the problem. Uh, where is our keepers? And, no, we have one right here. Why are you so unhappy? And what are you doing? Inspecting a habitat. You shouldn't be inspecting any habitat other than the, uh, meerkat habitat. Where are you? Okay, you are in the meerkat habitat. So can we make some food, please? Does the meerkat habitat have a keeper hut in it? I thought it said it did. One habitat, one building, one staff room. Uh, yeah, keeper hut large too. Okay, well, you should be good to go. Hopefully he takes care of that, but we'll have to keep an eye out. I'm gonna delete it for now. 
Um, what is this? Vet cannot reach habitat. Hmm. Are you not in the vet work zone? Probably not, because I spent a whole lot of time building and not paying attention to my work zones. <laughs> Which work zone is over here? Uh, so that work zone is that one. So it's work zone, whoa, where'd it go? One right here? Yes, okay, great, perfect. So we'll add you into that one. Now you should be able to reach and that is great. Awesome, okay, so that I think is all of the management stuff that we need to take care of. Are you guys enjoying your view? I never actually click on the guests to see what they're thinking. It looks like Indian elephant needs more plants. What? I'm surprised there's no gift shops in the zoo. Oh, okay, well, wait, no, no. Oh, those are information. Yeah, okay, fair enough. We don't have any gift shops. Fair enough. This place has great scenery. Why, thank you. I like the view of the Indian elephant from here. It's good. I'm enjoying the view of the Aldebra giant tortoise. Cool. I never click on that. I never, <laughs> I never look and see what they're thinking. I need you to take care of the meerkats, please. Hopefully they are. I, I sure hope that they are. Let's see, where's our keeper again that is taking care of the meerkats? Highly worked, how are you highly worked for just the meerkat? You know what, let's just go ahead and get another one. We have so much money right now, I'm really not worried about it. Um, Where did you go? We just placed you down. You should have no work, there you are. No work zone. Let's go ahead and assign you to the keeper. No, meerkat work zone. Great. And then also, where'd you go? There you are. Let's make sure just so it's fair, you get paid the appropriate amount. Can we actually do some training? I didn't think about that. Yeah, we can. So not you guys, because you're fully trained, but that's fantastic. And then let's go ahead and get these guys trained up as well. Wow, we have a couple five-star keepers. That's great. A couple one-star keepers, which is not so great. But like I said, we have made a ton of money and we were doing totally fine in that regard. I mean, to be honest, I kind of feel like we're playing in a sandbox zoo that just happens to have like a money thing down here um, because we're, we're doing really well and we're still on hard mode. We've been on hard mode the whole time. Um, but there we go. So we got a bunch of training done. What is happening now? Welfare has attracted protesters. I don't understand. See, you're happy now. You're eating. The keeper just got here. What about you? This, that's the same one. Uh, now the protesters are going to walk all the way through my zoo and piss everyone off, even though everybody in this enclosure is happy now. Look, happy. Enrichment toy enrichment. Okay, we might be able to add a little bit more toy enrichment. I can look at that. Let's go ahead and not look at the African elephant. Let's go ahead and look at the meerkat because their enrichment is going to be very, very different. Um, oh, do we not have, that counts as toy, right? Yeah, I don't think we have the tunnel. Where can we put the tunnel? Let's put it right here, right on this little log. Right there, no, right there. Yes, yes. Great, so now they have that. Did that help with your little toy enrichment problems? It did, perfect. You guys can go away now. They're very, thank you. I was like, they're very happy, so you can leave, please. That would be fantastic. Okay, well, cool. Um, I don't have any more managerial stuff, uh, stuffs to do, so uh, what I think is I think I'm gonna jump into the time lapse. I'm gonna pause it here. Look at how beautiful it is. It's all nice and bright and sunny. I just realized that this is floating. We'll have to fix that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so it's nice and beautiful out. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the time lapse. So let's get going. Welcome to today's time lapse, everyone. We are working on our African elephant habitat, like I'm sure I already mentioned. Um, I am going to try to make it through all of this time lapse. I hope it goes by fast. And the only reason I say that is because it's like a thousand degrees in my office right now. So if you do hear some background noise, it's because I have one of the fans on down the hallway kind of blowing air down towards me. Um, I'm really hoping you can't hear it, but I honestly, the fan in my office is actually turned off because uh, that one I know you could definitely hear, but it is so hot here recently. 
Um, I don't know if it's that way uh, around the world or in or different places in the world, but here in San Diego, California, for San Diego weather, it is considerably hot and uh, I've been suffering. I am such a child when it comes to the heat. I prefer it to be like in the 60s <laughs> and that's like my favorite, uh, maybe up to 70 degrees, but without any humidity. Well, okay, not not no humidity, but like 10 or 15% humidity, not like the 50 to 70% humidity that it's been here recently. It's just, uh, I don't like it. I struggle, struggle. I don't like the heat. So I'm really hoping it cools off soon, but um, obviously wanted to get this episode done for you guys. So that's where I'm at. So hopefully I don't melt by time this time lapse is over. But that being said, I should probably start talking about the time lapse, huh? So we are working, like I mentioned, on our African elephant habitat, and we do get it pretty much finished. I'm very, very proud of this build in the sense of the inside of the habitat is pretty much finished. The elephants are happy. Um, and I was really hoping for a baby elephant uh, by the end of this episode, but we are not so lucky. Um, the fertility on our two African elephants is not very good. It's like 50%, I think, on both of them. Um, so I think they've tried to make a baby like three times now and it's not worked. So I'm a little bummed about that. But we also do need to check the, what's it called? The animal trading. Um, yeah, animal, the animal marketplace, there we go. Uh, the heat is affecting my brain and ability to work. The animal marketplace uh, for more African elephants, because right now we only have two and I wanted to get at least two more females. Um, I did check and there weren't too many options. Uh, so we'll have to check again uh, in a future episode. But really, honestly, just kind of copying and pasting a lot of these elements around this habitat to make it feel cohesive with itself. Um, I do the kind of balcony overview area on both sides of the habitat, and I'm very, excuse me, very fond of how both turned out. I uh, kind of have a plant separator to keep the guests back, uh, but a nice viewing uh, perspective. Uh, perspective? Yeah, viewing view. How else would you say that? Uh, a nice, a nice vista <laughs> of the African elephant habitat for our guests. I'm so sorry, you guys. I this time lapse is gonna be all over the place, so hopefully it's not too weird for you guys. Um, I, I like I said, I just, I'm just hot. I'm just like 80 degrees in my office and sweating and and uh, it's affecting apparently my my mental state <laughs> making me go a little crazy um, but just adding in some plants all over the place here just to kind of make it look le not like overgrown but like you know specifically planted landscaping um, ignoring the fact that the elephants can just reach through with their trunks uh, this these poles and stuff would have some sort of hot wire or something like that in between um, maybe we can actually look at even adding that at, at a, in another episode um, to make it look a little bit more realistic but for now I'm okay uh, kind of pretending that they wouldn't reach their trunks through those bars so they wouldn't actually be able to get to the foliage um, and again just doing the same little balcony thing over here for the guest viewing area I end up or in the beginning of this time lapse rather what I started with was connecting the path so that it's a nice big loop for guests loops in the path are common in real life zoos but also I I'm pretty sure they help the guests pathfinding in game whereas they like to kind of go from one place to another not like go down an empty path and then come back so that helps um and then while i was kind of playing afterwards guests do make it all the way out here and all the way to the secondary viewing area so um so that's good so they are actually using it but i did want to loop it that way we could prepare for our uh indian white nope <laughs> combining both of them our southern white rhinos and our indian rhinos uh, are going to be the next two animals and then eventually the fennec fox is what i kind of want to put over on the other side of this habitat like what we mentioned and after the time lapse i do ask you guys but i guess i'll, I'll ask you again or i'll ask you for the first time and then later i'm going to ask you again because you know that's how the video works uh which one first indian rhino or southern white rhino i'm kind of leaning towards southern white rhino but let me know what your uh, what your thoughts, opinions are down in the comments below. Um, and we'll go with whatever one I guess is most popular because I do want to add them both or maybe we do a combined episode. Maybe I just get really productive. I sit down and I do two habitats in one episode. 
What do we think about that? Do we think I'm capable of that? Because <laughs> up until now, uh, it's been one, if not like three episodes for one habitat. Um, we're gonna ignore the fact that the aardvarks have gotten like four uh, episodes <laughs> in total in the course of Tali Zoo. But anyway, uh, if we think I'm capable of that, if that's something you guys would like to see, do let me know. Um, I'll try to make it happen. Um, I have been building in Planet Zoo kind of just as much as I always have been, but with it being so hot, I uh, my time in my office is rather limited. Um, so I've been splitting my time between Planet Zoo and The Sims because I've been into that as of recently. Um, I just finished up in other news, just kind of a channel update. I finished up a Southern White Rhino Habitat today before doing this episode for you guys. So that should hopefully be coming out on the channel sometime next week. We will be streaming this Sunday, uh, our usual time, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And then, um, yeah, I think that's all that I really have like planned, planned out. I'm going to try really, really hard. The voting for the last build contest that we were doing for Planet Zoo started today and it ends tomorrow. So if I can get myself in gear, film a um, top five uh, video tours for you guys, we might stream all of the entries on Sunday, or if I can't do that, uh, then we will just build something in Planet Zoo on Sunday, and then next Sunday we will stream all of the entries. Uh, just not quite sure what I'm gonna feel like tomorrow. I'm actually home alone for an entire week. Matt is out at a cornhole tournament, so I have just myself and all of our animals at home, so I'm not going to have a whole lot of time this week because of that, um, but I'm gonna try really, really hard to get that done. Just finishing up very minimal details over here, putting some benches and some trash cans because we are again in franchise mode. So wanna make sure the guests are happy. And then also throwing over some merchandise stores because I don't, we don't have any gift shops or anything like that in uh, the zoo so far. So then that is about it. We're gonna jump back into uh, the real time right now. All right, you guys, we have, I'm going to say the inside is pretty much finished, right? We got water, food, enrichment. Let's just double check to make sure that they're super happy. They are uh, super finished African elephant habitat. What do you think? I am super happy with it, especially from this view over here. I don't know, just kind of seeing it uh, go all the way out and having it be kind of a longer habitat rather than like a deeper habitat, right? So like instead of making it out this way, having it kind of be longer in this way. Uh, I like it a lot. And you know what? The one thing that I am thinking now that I'm looking at it is I'm almost thinking it would look a little better if we put water over here. Let's see if we can't do that. If we kind of go maybe, yeah. Yeah, just like that, I think. Um, after I was done with the time lapse and then I jumped in here to obviously film this part, I was thinking to myself like that would kind of, I don't know, just make it kind of symmetrical, right? Like water over here and water over here. It also does a really good job at like keeping the elephants at a distance from the guests. Uh, so in real life, you know, keeping them kind of off the wall and, and having it to where they, they have to swim. I like that. I think I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, now what I want to do, now that we're done with the time lapse, is I want to try to situate, I had to throw this randomly here, which I'm not a huge fan of, and I'm actually wondering if I can't move this over here somewhere because it was kind of it's kind of just randomly in the way and i don't like it um but if we kind of put it i think maybe over here and then run a path to it it'll be a little bit more out of the way and then is it really that much oh i guess it's really high okay hold on one sec we gotta lower this down a little bit um yeah it'll kind of be out of the way and that way uh we can kind of lump it in i put some um what are these called merchandise stores down uh so that we can kind of decorate those in with their own building um, and kind of make an outside facade for it. So if we kind of put this somewhat close over here, we can probably just squeeze this into the facade. Yeah, that's perfect, because I basically want to hit this side of the enclosure. Um, we can squeeze that into the facade over there, which I think will be quite nice, because then we can kind of hide everything. Oh 
course. Okay, there we go. We'll have a bit of a wonky path for now, but at least the maintenance guys can. Uh, oh, we got to mature. Oh, it's our Black Panther. That's right. Oh, that's right. You guys gave me name suggestions last time. Wow. And Bagheera? Is that how you spelled it? Bagheera from... Um, from Jungle Book. That was one that I really liked the suggestion of. So that was the one that I picked. I completely forgot. It's all coming back to me. Like I said, we haven't played this in a while. Um, so I completely forgot that we had this little guy last time. How cute. It's a little Bagheera. Um, are you going to grow up? Because I was hoping to see you in your adult form, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess we'll give him a little bit more time. He's going to go for a swim. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and look. So this I'm going to kind of um, facade off or, or put some sort of wall here so you don't see it. This I thought would be quite nice for the fennec foxes. In fact, that's like really big for the fennec foxes. Um, but then on this side could be our rhinos and we have tons of room to, uh, to work with. What is happening over here? The the, I almost said the penguin. The flamingo on the lookout post is not happy and it's because of social. Is there too many of you? Is that the problem? I'm gonna guess that's the problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at our flamingos real quick so that they don't uh, continue to be super unhappy. Um, greater flamingo starts with a G. There we go. Great um maturity level so these guys are all really young and these guys are all really old so we have all of these guys and all of these guys Oof, what are we gonna do um these guys actually i'll probably just release these to the wild how's that because our adult ones are still having babies and still doing okay so how is that is that a little better social stress stress why are you all of the sudden stressed i haven't changed the habitat at all hmm that's weird dangerous fighting due to overcrowding oh it's because uh bagheera grew up huh um let's go ahead and look at the no that's not what i want i want just the habitat i gotta learn to only single click not double click um let's see why are you not scrolling down scroll down so we have Bagheera and I, let's go ahead and put you in, oh, it didn't save the name. Uh, let's go ahead and put you in storage. Um, that way we can keep you trade center, right? I wanted to make sure I clicked the right button um, because once mom and dad pass away, then we can probably bring Bagheera out again. Let's go ahead and name you though, because I want to make sure that gear up. Let me know if I spelled that right, by the way, because I actually don't know off the top of my head, uh, but your storage. So we definitely want to keep you. Um, I thought I saw another red uh, thing, but I guess not. So what do we need? Souvenir profits. Okay. So I just put those down. So hopefully we'll be able to hit that zoo reputation. So four stars. We're only a little itty bitty bit away. Um, an education increase the yellow anaconda education hmm. interesting okay well cool okay let's go back over here so like i was saying i want to go ahead and plan out where our uh white rhinos and indian rhinos are gonna be oh i can actually delete this i left this from from the time lapse um so i think hmm what should we do we're gonna have to make it so the keepers can get there somehow. So what if we did, oh, good night. What if we did uh, kind of an underpass kind of thing? We might have to remove, actually, in fact, I know we're gonna have to remove and then replace down the pass, path. But if we did like an underpass kind of thing here, and then um, that way that was the access the keepers had to the habitat. I think that could be pretty cool. Not something that we've really done before. Um, can we get rid of all this? That would be great. Um, let's see. I don't work with the terrain too, too much. And I feel like, I feel like I'm wanting to because Tali Zoo is rather flat, right? Like we have the, this little area that goes up slightly, but that's about it. So I'm kind of wanting to, uh, to work with that a little bit. 
disease discovered, oh no. Okay, you're already in the hands of our vet. That is great, they're already handling it. Oh, look, it's meal time. Wow, you guys are so dirty. <laughs> All of our elephants are so filthy, but look at the little baby and the girls and the male. Oh, how cute. Okay, anyway, back to this. So if we have this going over like that, it's a super descriptive sentence. This needs to be fatter. There we go. Bring this straight across like that. Let's see if this is, it should be well high. In, yes. Okay, great. So we probably could even raise this up just a bit because this is, this is a lot of headroom, um, a lot of headroom for them. So let's go ahead and raise it up just a little bit, just a little bit. And then I have, uh, I have a question for you guys. Uh, white rhino or Indian rhino first? Or can they be housed together? Does anybody, is there anybody that's watching that works at a zoo or has been to a zoo where they have both rhino species together? Because I don't honestly know if they would tolerate uh, living with one another. And if they do, maybe doing a combined habitat would be uh, a, an option for us. But I honestly don't have any idea. So let me know. Um, let me know if you've ever seen Indian and white rhinos together. Oh man, really? Look at all this headroom that you have. So maybe we just go right in front of it. There we go. Cause I don't want it to be super deep down, right? I want it to be, be kind of right above there. Let's go ahead and do a, a null, null barrier, connect it there and then connect it over here. And I actually don't even know how much room the uh, either rhino species needs for that matter, but I think I'm gonna kind of do a similar thing where I want it to be a long habitat, kind of like this. Whoopsies, I did not mean to connect it to that one. Um, but if we go this way and then we kind of bring it back around following the path, that's kind of how I envisioned it. And we can do a couple little like stop areas for viewing, kind of like with the elephants. Um, that's probably going to be huge because I always make have a, oh my gosh, 4,000? Yes. <laughs> so we can probably split that up into two already because that is, that's kind of huge. Um, maybe we, we cut it off right here and, uh, and kind of go around like this and meet it back up over here. That might be a little bit better so that it's not super huge. Let's see how how big that is. Because decorating smaller habitats is definitely much easier. Let's see, that is 2,700 square meters. So that's a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and look at the Southern white rhino because that's the one I'm leaning towards. Uh, where are we? Here we are. Great. Uh, yeah, they only need 1,200 and one to five, so group of five is the biggest. So I think that is great because we're obviously gonna add some water, add some rock, so it'll shrink up, uh, so it'll be less than that. Um, maybe we get our Southern white rhinos and our Indian rhinos while we're thinking about it here. Um, I'll just check to see because a lot of the times uh, we have trouble finding some of these animals. Southern white rhino and Indian rhino. There we go, confirm. So we want one male and then some females for both, I imagine. So here's Indian rhino. So how about, how about you are good? I'm gonna try to use our conservation credits first. Um, well, I guess I don't really have to, huh? We're making so much money. I should have saved those. Oh, well, uh, we don't have another option for a female anyway, but for Southern white rhino, we have a lot of options as far as selection but out of our budget so i'm guessing this male or this male yeah are our only two only two options here i might take this one because his genes are a little bit worse so southern white rhino here and then this is our only option for female so let's go ahead and take her let's refresh this list a bit um we have another female white rhino oh she's She's terrible. Another male southern white rhino. Uh, we need some Indian rhinos, please. <sighs> oh well, so we have we have these guys. Okay, perfect. So we have male, male. Oh, and you know what? We might not be able to house them together because the males probably won't like each other, huh? 
So we are probably gonna have to make two different habitats. But that's okay because this one, if we look back at it, this one is not so big. We can probably fit the second one right here. And I think that'll work out really nicely. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be totally fine. And in fact, hmm, in fact, what we can actually do, I know I already did this, but let's actually, let's get rid of that because my new idea is to put, thinking that we wanna have these guys like in a group with keepers on their own, is that we'll put the keeper hut somewhere back here. And so the access to the habitats will be from back here. I like that better. So we'll put that over there. We can still probably keep that as, um, as a ditch because we need, well, we actually don't need like a swimming body of water anywhere, but we might put some water just for decoration. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it in for now. I'm moving the mouse too fast. <laughs> I gotta go a little slower so it'll actually fill in. Uh, fill this all in so we have a little bit more of a blank slate there. Continue the path back where it was. That is a wonky path. Savannah, try that again. Try that again. There we go. A little bit smoother that time. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of this barrier that's in the ground. Get our null barrier. Connect this up and then follow this pathing again just to make sure it's complete. And then what we can do is if we get our null barrier again, we'll bring this off from here and we'll kind of go out this way for whichever rhino species this one ends up being. Whoops, don't connect please. Thank you. Go all the way over to here and then we'll just connect them there. Perfect. So yeah, so then we have two rhino habitats here and there. And then we'll put the keeper stuff right over here. I know you, I put it down and you guys can't see. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no, are there too many penguins? <laughs> yeah, their space is too small. So hold on, wait, pause. Let's go look at our penguins here. They got a, a little bit too overzealous with the uh, with the breeding situation there. So, wow, look at how many we, oh, we never labeled these. Gosh, you guys, I'm terrible. All right, babies are going to the wild. So you guys were all born around the same time. And actually I'll probably just go, mm, let's go ahead and leave you guys. Cause I knew, I do know they like big groups, but we just don't have a big habitat. So let's go ahead and release you guys to the wild. 243 credits, thank you very much. Um, I need to remember to label those guys male and female and so on and so forth. But that is not what we're gonna do today because today I'm out of time. And if I wanna get this out on time for you guys, I'm gonna need to stop it here and record the voiceover for the time-lapse so that you lovely people can watch this on time on Friday. So let's go ahead and take a look at our little elephants. Uh, we don't have, she's not pregnant. I wanted her to be pregnant so bad. I wanted to have a baby for this episode, but that's okay. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at her in this beautiful habitat that we have finished. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you did enjoy, really helps me out to leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Bye.